If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be the beginning of a reading vlog that teenage Emily would have died knowing that it was coming. Um, I will be reading Twilight number five, which is Midnight Sun that just came out. I asked you on the community tab to vote uh, if you wanted me to read it or not. And about 85%, I think, of you said yes, absolutely. Actually, about 50% of you said only if Snow Globe Emily wears fangs. So I'm going to have to like figure out a way to do that before we start reading. I feel like we've all been dealing with the quarantine as best as we can, and one of my ways to deal with it has been to rewatch <laughs> all five movies of Twilight because things have been rough for me lately. If you haven't seen my Twitter, I feel like everything bad that can happen has happened to me lately. So I had to cope and I decided to watch the movies, and then when you voted that you wanted me to read the book, I decided F it, let's do it. So that's what we're doing this week. I'm actually genuinely excited. I feel like some people expect me to bash it and not gonna lie, there's obviously a huge chance that it will happen uh, and it also will be non-spoiler free. I will discuss spoilers by me, it's Twilight. But I'm still very, very excited. So far, all I've heard is that a lot of people find Edward insufferable, which who's actually surprised here. But I really wanna see how you know the first book how it happened through his eyes and i'm curious to see if there are some nuggets some information that will you know reveal uh back in the day but i know the author has to kind of be careful because it can't contradict whatever happened you know years ago so yeah that's what we're doing this week i'm very very excited uh, i'm sure i will use a ton of my little post-its if you haven't seen them i'll link them down below they're really cheap they're like three bucks or something and they're like the most funny thing ever um <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna use a lot of the frustrated one because edward will for sure annoy me a bit but yes uh super excited i am giving myself a week to read it uh the book has 660 something pages so if i read about you know 100 pages a day we can get through it in a week so let's do this everyone uh we are day two what well, end of day two of my reading vlog i did a little bit yesterday but honestly i was repeating the same thing 50 times so i decided let's wait one more day so i have a lot <laughs> of post-its to talk about because ooh, uh, i'm not gonna lie i'm a <laughs> i am having fun um i am bashing the book or i'm about to but like it's not in a bad way like it's fun like uh teenage emily like i was mentioning uh in the intro was going to die for this and I am I feel like wasn't there like a chapter or something available online from his point of view I feel like I read that oh my god this is <laughs> flashback um so yeah let's go through all my post-its I tried to like not only use the same ones because I feel like I'm going to use up this specific one the annoyed one which again saw that one coming uh but yeah let's go through all of them because why the hell not so this is where I'm at right now chapter 12 page 246 um, a lot of people have said uh, so far that he was super insufferable, and I am 100% agreeing. Uh, I've been, like, cringing a lot about his thoughts, but who is surprised? But I had to laugh about what Jessica keeps thinking about, and he's, like, annoyed by it. I feel like in Twilight it's mentioned a little bit that obviously he knows what they're thinking, but Jessica and uh, Rosalie, it's so funny to hear what they're actually thinking about him. So I've been laughing at that. I've also been annoyed by him. I'm very surprised that he's incredibly cringy. The whole like, oh, that word doesn't, you know, happen in lady's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I chose that one for a reason. I should have put like way more, but like I didn't want, like I said, to use them all up on him. What else do we have? Ooh, there was this cute little uh, nugget of information, which I'm very happy. The fact that uh, Charlie, kind of has the same power as her, obviously not as strong, but that is something that wasn't mentioned once in Twilight, so I am super happy to have found something that was new. Oh my god, everyone stopped being very cringy, which again, nobody's actually surprised here. Which one is the next one? Oh, we have a couple. Oh my god, okay, I did put the baby one, because once again, I didn't want to- oh, there's another one here, I will go back. Uh, I put the baby one when Edward is being, like, a big baby <laughs> victim. Like, when he's basically saying, like, She's so much better than everyone else, and like she's too good for me, and like I'm such a monster, and like, yeah, he's basically being a big victim, <laughs> which not super surprising knowing his character, but still made me laugh every time slash cringe. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, 
See, she was too good for a villain. <laughs> I can't help it. I have to laugh at him. Uh, what else do we have? Oh my God, he's so cringy to imagine that like everything bad will happen to her, which not gonna lie, obviously everything bad does happen to her, but like starting to think that, <laughs> what was it? Uh, Meteorite will like hit her. <laughs> like really, <laughs> really? Oh, another thing I didn't realize with that little quote, like obviously it makes sense. He's been a vampire for like a long time now. So he kind of forgot what it is to be human, but he's so condescending. But at the same time, it makes sense. But like reading it is just so cringy. Like and him being super cringy about the, I didn't own her. She wasn't mine, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I can't deal, but there's another one about that. And what was this one? Stay with that part uh, is the fact that I wish I had Twilight, the first book, so I could read again those sections because like, I feel like things are not exactly the same. I don't know if it's because I just rewatched a movie and obviously a few things are not the same. So it's not as fresh in my memory, but like, uh, the few things were not the same, I guess. But uh, yeah, I feel like I wish I had like, the other chapter, the original chapters to compare them because it's so weird to see it from his side. I'm like, what did she think? Because clearly it was different in my head. Cringiness of like, obviously like, she can't love as, can't love me as hard as I love her because you know, fragile human body. <laughs> I can't, I can't. So yeah, um, so far it has been a lot of cringiness. A lot of laughing though, like I'm really enjoying this. Um, uh, <laughs> It's Twilight. Like, I think the best part about Twilight was the fact that everyone was reading it at the time. So like, you could talk about it with everyone. Same thing with like Harry Potter back in the day, or like even like Pokemon Go when it came out. Like, that's part of the fun. So um, yeah, I'm enjoying it, I guess. It's super cringy. Uh, I can't wait to see what he thinks of Jacob. <laughs> that's gonna be so bad. A, it's not great literature. No one expects that. And um, yeah, we'll keep you updated on all the future cringiness. But like, not a bad way to survive quarantine. Not gonna lie. So yeah, that's gonna be it for day two. See you when I have more post-its. <laughs> so shame on me. I just realized that I forgot to do fangs for Emily. So scissors. This is the, literally the only paper that is colorful that I could find. But at least it sticks. So I'm gonna do some fangs for Emily. So um, here they are. I am very artistic, as you can tell. We're gonna go and stick them on her. Um, she's currently wearing. Ooh, she's currently wearing the mask because uh, my camera keeps focusing on her, and you know, social distancing and all that. So for anyone that doesn't know who this is and is probably wondering what is wrong with me, uh, she was sent to me as PR from my on my beauty channel. And I always thought she was kind of scary and funny and everyone agreed, so she became the mascot for this channel, hence this craziness. So, <laughs> I guess it kind of works. We're all happy here. Uh, we can continue this reading vlog now. We're day three and I'm doing my reading right now to update you, you know, on how things are going. And I just wanted to point out that, again, it's raining. and. I just wanted to say, it just feels perfect with what I'm reading, Twilight, obviously, the rain, so it's very, like, atmospheric in here. <laughs> okay, so we are day four, clearly, I'm getting ready to film videos, let's just pretend my bangs are normal right now. I wanted to update you, because last night I just fell asleep before I had time slash, just more cringiness to share. Um, not gonna lie, I have been enjoying myself, but like in a, like, I'm torturing myself kind of way. <laughs> Because, oh my god, Edward is so cringy. Like, he's like pitying himself a lot. And like, oh my god, I need to like include, I saw a TikTok video, obviously. And, um. <laughs> oh, he's kind of hot. <sighs> Dear diary, another whore vies for my affections. Existence is agony. Yeah, so that's like. Yeah, uh, so let's go through all the post-its because can you? <laughs> I went through uh, a lot of the post-its. I'm currently at page 404, uh, so we're at day four. I probably will read more tonight. So I'm kind of keeping to like 110 pages a day. So I'm trying to finish it before the end of the week, but you know, uh, we'll see if I can read more tonight. But um, the last 100 pages, like today, I haven't put that much post-its, but if I remember correctly, I was at 250 I think 
So let's go through the next one, shall we? Kind of. Okay, um, so first off, the section at page 252 where uh, Emmett and Edward are conspiring to try to get a date for a uh, Angela? Yeah. Funny. Was that in the books? I feel like there's a few scenes like that that I tried to like put little post-its every time there was like new information. Oh, and by the way, did I show you? I think so. Um, because I think it's like the best part in here. Uh, and hopefully some people, some of you will want to know that stuff without reading the books. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, that scene, I thought it was funny, enjoyed it. Um, and I thought it was pretty wholesome of Emmett to just, you know, go with it anyway. Um, I was going to ask, do you prefer just me like this or me showing you the, the book? Let me know for future vlogs because right now I can't really change anything. I think I'm going to do both just for fun. Another scene I'm not sure was in the book uh, was like you get a lot of information about uh, Bella, like he's asking Melon questions about her and uh, to no one's surprise she's like the most basic bish ever. Um, like all the movies and everything and I have to say the fact that um, one of her favorite romance is things like Jane Austen and that she didn't like Emma because Emma is so, what, what's the word? Full of herself, which that's literally the point. But yeah, um, again, no one is surprised that Bella is super basic, which was it because like they wanted us to, well, more like the author want everyone to relate to her. She's like very, I'm not like the other girls, even though. It was so funny how Edward basically admits that Jacob's mind is amazing and that, you know, if it wasn't for Bella, he would probably enjoy him like as a friend. So that was <laughs> ironic for sure. Uh, what else do we have? I think all of these, by the way, are like new information, which we all want. So what else? Oh, and yeah, I don't think I don't think I knew that Bella wanted to become a teacher, possibly if she didn't become a vampire. So that's cool. Also kind of interesting to learn that if Edward um, had left and didn't come back, I uh, would probably come back later on to kill her, which, okay, cool. <laughs> what else do we have? <laughs> Oh yeah, and the fact that um, if uh, basically Edward had continued not wanting to turn her, she would have become older and still with him, which that is her worst nightmare, but still interesting to see that little snippet of information so you can see it on the screen right now. What else do we have? Oh, Edward being very, very cringy as you can see. Feel free to pause at any moment to read the sentences because again, the cringe is real. Uh, what else was new here? Oh, you get more about his past, which was fun. I feel like we didn't get that much information in the book. So again, feel free to pause at any moment. What else do we have? New info. Oh yeah, the fact that Carly uh, requested them to attend any funer funeral of people that they killed, which, cool. So yeah, a ton of scenes of uh, Edward being incredibly cringy and like, I don't deserve her. Oh my God, she likes me. And uh, that TikTok I included is so funny because like if Edward had been able to read uh, Bella's mind, he would have found her as cringy as all the other, you know, girls. She would be exactly like everyone else wanting him. But because he can't read her mind, she's so interesting, plus her blood, but still. Um, yeah, it's super cringy, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm giggling mostly because it's so bad. Um, do I think so far it's worth a read? Probably not, which is probably why I'm making sure to try and like mention everything that is new information for anyone that is just curious. Um, but you know what? We're coping as best as we can during the pandemic. So I will continue uh, to read, put all the post-its. I'm, I'm running low on some of these. You can't probably tell. Oh yeah, you can kind of tell the cringier ones are definitely getting low. I will have to order some more. And um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Another day. Another storm. Whoop, whoop. By the way, I don't know if you can see, but my neighbor has an apple tree, and there are so many apples in my neighbor's yard. I only have a couple, which don't look at my grass. I need to cut it, but yes, storm. Okay, so we are day six, and I just finished Midnight Sun. I was going to say Twilight. <laughs> Ooh, um, the last bit is always my least favorite in the first book. I just don't care about the whole James thing whatsoever. But, um, finished the book, 
let me uh, share my thoughts. There's not that much that happened in there that I have much to say, but there are a few scenes that have more information, which is, seems to be the whole vlog at this point is just telling you uh, the bits that were interesting. So let's go through them. We left off around here last time, so now we get a scene that uh, about sex. <laughs> I don't even want to read this, so <laughs> you saw it. Then the whole like saying I love you after like two seconds, which again, it's Twilight, nobody's surprised. But now we have a bunch of new information, so let me go back. Oh yeah, that scene was interesting with Rosalie. Um, we get more about their relationship and how, you know, she was totally offended that uh, he wasn't really into her. But at this point, it's more that uh, he's asking her for five years of like peace so he can like be with Bella. So that was interesting. Yes, there was one night uh, where she, uh, Bella went to bed early and Charlie, did, Charlie didn't believe her, so he <laughs> unplugged her battery. So that that's not something I expected from him, but you know, there we are. We get that whole scene about um, how Carlisle basically reached out to Billy before they moved back, which that part was interesting, giving you a little sneak peek. I feel like it gives you some nice background as to why he is acting the way he is. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I have a soft spot for Charlie. Um, basically, when Bella broke his heart, which every time it's like my least favorite part, it just breaks my heart. We get a bit of information about how uh, Alice became Alice. Uh, this is like the first, well, the second time where it's mentioned. James basically knew about her. And you know how Charlie basically uh, had this weird uh, kind of power that uh, his mind wasn't super clear to Edward. Hopefully I mentioned that. But he was curious about his mom, uh, her mom, Bella's mom. And uh, apparently her, it's almost the opposite. She's very, very loud. Oh, and here's the third mention of Alice. Basically how she was uh, created. So this is it. I read Midnight Sun slash Twilight number five slash just Twilight from Edward's point of view. Um, I have no idea how to rate this book, to be honest, because like, realistically, did I really enjoy myself? <laughs> but um, I do like some of the characters. In this book, I feel like I like Jacob. It's going to be different, you know, longer term because he gets kind of cringy. But um, some nice information. Uh, hopefully enjoyed, you know, getting that, but I have no idea how I'm going to rate this book because like I usually, it's late, huh? <laughs> my hair is doing its own thing. Um, I usually rate my books based on my enjoyment and I can't really imagine myself giving it more than like <laughs> two stars. I don't know why I was going for four. Um, but at the same time, is it really, f I don't know. We'll see, but probably two stars. But again, nobody's really surprised here. So yay, I did it. We survived it, took me six days, and we're moving on now. <laughs> I should have had my light from the beginning. It's just very late, so the bright light in my face is a bit much. So we're gonna say goodbye. Bye, Emily. I feel like she should kind of keep those for a little while. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, definitely share your thoughts. If you have read the book, please let me know how you felt about it. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out, and I shall see you in my next video very soon. Bye.